What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We appreciate, as always, everyone watching. Uh, today we are going to, we're, we're off today. So of course on our days off, we go fishing. I know it sounds kind of like a boring life, but it's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, but we are gonna head offshore today. We got, we got pretty fair winds and uh, hopefully we're gonna get in some hogfish. I, I hate to hate to say I know we're gonna go catch some hogfish because I don't know, and you definitely don't know out there. Uh, we're looking for hogfish, trigger fish are in season, porgies, there's been some kingfish showing up, there's Kobe out there. There's no telling what we're gonna get into. It's, uh, it's pretty much just a meat haul. But of course, as always, I got my guy Jake back here. He's gonna be more in front of the camera today, talking. Right? I'm gonna try. Right, Jake? Sure. You're gonna show off that bubbly personality oh, yeah. that everybody keeps asking for. And uh, and I've got three other guys with us today. And just so you don't hear me screaming names and everything else, so Pa, if you hear me say Pa, Pa is my dad. And you guys haven't seen him before, but he is, uh, yeah, he's my dad. And he's gonna fish with us today. And then we also have a good friend of good friend family friend, Jamie and his son Kean. Kean's also a family friend. He just happens to be Jamie's son, so that's why I introduced him like that. I don't want to, I don't want to hurt his feelings. But uh, yeah, these these guys haven't done a lot of nearshore fishing, so you know if we get out there and Kean hooks something that that he hasn't ever caught before, if he starts screaming and jumping up and down and acting crazy, just bear with him. He he shows a lot of emotion. He's one of the quietest kids I know, but he's a good kid. So that's why he's out here with us. So anyways, we got a pretty long ride. We just got baited the Skyway and bait's thick out here. It was easy. I think we threw three times and we're out. But um, so bear with us. Let us get out here and we'll start fishing. All right guys, so we made it out. It's uh, it's a little bumpy this morning, it's supposed to lay down. But uh, our first stop, real real simple setups. We got our inshore rods, 15 pound braid, 20 pound leader, to a uh, one ounce Stewie jig from Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. I'll show you guys real quick. Of course, I'm sure most of you know, know the color. I'm going with the purple nurple. But uh, yeah, it's I mean it's, it's super simple fishing out here. We uh, we got live white bait. We stopped at the bridge this morning and got bait. But as far as what we're gonna start with for the hogs and stuff, I'm a I'm a fan of I'm a fan of frozen shrimp. Actually, the last big hog I caught was on a pack was on a pack of shrimp from Walmart, man. That was already pink, and it was actually in the uh, frozen food section. We've got some fish on the machine now. But um, yeah, so that's it. Purple Nurple Stewies, one ounce. Gonna drop down and uh, kind of like a box of chocolates out here. You never know what you're gonna get. All right, first drop, let's see. Bottom. There's a bite. There's a fish. There's a fish. Feels like it might be like a little, it might be a little red grouper. Yep, little red grouper. These things get to be a nuisance out here. There's a fish. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Oh, that might have been. Yep, we don't have any red groupers, so they keep shutting the season on them too, but you can't get away from them sometimes out here. That was a solid fish you had. I can't get the hook out of this guy. There we go. There you go, Jamie. Good fish. Good fish, buddy. Good fish. Let's see what he's got. Grab that. You want to pull that net out, Jake, just in case? That one's got some weight. It's not it's scoping out a little bit. It is a giant grunt. Put him in the box. Oh. There you go, Tian. Yeah. 
There you go, kid. Grunt, grunt. No, nope, something red. Hog. There's a hog. They're here. That's a hogfish. That's a hogfish, dude. It's actually a hogfish, only smaller. Let's see that joker, buddy. That's your first one? Yeah. So that's a little that female. A cool that is a cool one. Yep, that's a little female. Once they once they turn into males, they get a big brown stripe right here, mm -hmm. and their snout gets longer. Yeah, I've seen that picture. But that's the right kind, brother. Huh. Little female. All right, dude, put it back. Let's get a big one. Yeah. He, he like reeled in quite a bit. Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh. Hog. On the way up. As soon as we're going to move. We're having to move around quite a bit, guys. The bite right now isn't isn't on fire. We uh, every time we hit a spot, it seems like we're getting bites for about 10 minutes, catching a few fish. Jamie's on, and uh, and then they shut down. But fish off. But uh, we're just gonna keep bouncing around. I mean, you just keep moving around, hitting these little ledges, and uh, we have caught four hogs. We just haven't caught a keeper yet. There's a bite right there. As soon as, as, soon as it hits the bottom. That's how all of these spots have been. As soon as it hits the bottom, the first few drops getting hit, and then they're shutting down. But they'll hit a they'll hit a point at some. Well, they'll they'll hit a point at some point. Yeah, does that make sense? They'll hit a point at some point during the day where I think they're going to eat. There's definitely hogfish in the area. So that's that's the main focus right now, the main target. But that and filling the cooler. Giant lane. Holy cow. Holy cow, James. That's a good one here, dude. Nice oh my gosh. Giant flounder. What size that flounder? Uh, oh, oh my. <laughs> no that is a giant flounder, man. Good guys so there's a good keeper and this is a male that's what I was talking about earlier you see that brown line how his snout starts to kick out 
So a year ago, this was probably a female. I don't know how long it takes them to grow, it's wild to but there. that's a good keeper hog. We just moved spots again, so get some more back down there. This is a good spot. This is fun to ride water duck. Hog. I got a hog. Little hog. Yeah, there's a hog. A little hog. I got a twin. <laughs> the old ugly grunt. There you go, Keith. That hog was barely hooked, dude. Mm -hmm. You got a Oh, big Ooh. lane. Damn. Okay. I like this spot the best so far. Let me check. Jake's got a fish on backwards. I got a drop flying around. Big old grunt. Don't be a grouper. Don't be a grouper. Big hog. Yeah. Big hog, buddy. Nice. Good job. Stud. That is a stud hog fish right there, brother. Slam that, dude. I'm a, I'm not I'm not uh I'm not there. saying there's a difference, but I am saying that I caught that big male on the purple nurple, and Kean just caught a big male on the purple nurple. Everybody knows hogfish favorite color is purple. You want to keep it? Yeah. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> We're gonna get a picture of you really real quick. That's a good fish for us. He's a, he's that fish is 14. Hold this thing. He's nosing all the way to the other line. You see that? Yes, I am. This is on the line. Got a quarter inch short. That's a good one. Grab that net. Can you want to get scooped up first? That's a big hog, dude. Is that my rod? Yeah. <laughs> you handed it to me and he smoked it. Jake took my rod while I was netting key and fish. He sure did. That's a big fish, whatever it is. See red. Let's see red. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big hog. Yeah. Big hog. Yeah. yeah. Big hog. Jake with the big hog. That a boy. But I'm telling you again, I didn't even drop it or nothing. It's on the purple, man. Fruits in the bud, boys. It's on the purple, Jake. That's a stud, buddy. That's a big hog. <laughs> That's a stud. They are eating right now, guys. They are definitely eating right now. Purple nurple. Jake, you want to hold your fish? Let me get our fish. Is it our fish? Sure. High five. You dropped it. High five on our fish. I, I dropped it. it you reeled it in. <laughs> I felt the bite and just started pulling. Oh, all right, dude. Let's get a uh, let's get a picture of him and then we'll. Hold it. So Pa caught an absolute hammer of a hog, and what really sucks, we were trying to net this one. I had a fish on. I didn't really think nothing about it. It wasn't as big, but it was another good one, and he spit the hook right at the surface. So as soon as we turn the camera off, he he's camera shy. Let's get a picture of that one, Paul. See how big he is. This fish is oh. right at 20 inches, 19, 20 inches. Wow. That's a good, yeah. that's a good one. 
get a picture of you. Just stick here. He just let us get the damn grunts out of the way. Yeah. Get him, Keen. Oh, big boy. Big boy, Jimmy. Right behind you. Right behind you. I got it. Right Big hog. Oh, yeah. oh. Yes, sir. Big hog, dude. My man. Good job, brother. That's probably the one I, I lost. Probably. I mean, if I. That's my guess. If I, you know, I mean, I do it for the kids. Yeah. It's all about the children. <laughs> it's all about the children, right, Jamie? That's right. Yeah, man. Every, on the other side of the boat. every once in a while, you got to let one go, let a kid catch it. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you. That's awesome. Nice hog, man. That's a real one. Paws hooked up again. Hooked up again. Be a hog. Oh yeah. It's pink. It's pink. Big hog. Hog. Big hog. Yes, sir. Nice. Big hog. This is crazy, man. I tell you what, we had a slow morning, and you guys probably aren't going to see much of that because we have so much fish catching. But we had a slow, probably two hours, uh, really just struggling to get a bite, and then it uh, then it went off. And these are all these are all new spots that we've never fished before. We're just kind of checking out, and they are uh, they're paying off, ain't no doubt. Oh, they're paying off. Another good fish, man.